Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. Hello, I'm James Spann. This is a weather extreme video for Tuesday morning, the 6th day of December. Yeah, I got the raspy voice, but I don't feel that bad. Just can't uh, speak that well. But we'll get this out. We'll talk about it because we've got a cold, unsettled period for the state through midweek. Let's uh, check out some of the Skycam shots around the network early this morning at the insane hour of 5 a.m. There's a look at uh, downtown Birmingham where light rain is falling and a cold front is passing through as I do this update. There's a look at the lights of the city of Gadsden. Had their Christmas parade last night, pretty much unscathed by rain, just a few sprinkles during that. And that's one of our newer sky cams on the network at Parrish up in Walker County, where again, uh, light rain is falling there in the central part of Walker County. All right, basically no change in the setup. We've got the big upper trough hanging back to the west. A very slow-moving front is basically bisecting Alabama this morning, setting up a rather amazing <clears throat> a thermal contrast early this morning at 5 o'clock. Check out those numbers. That is a 30-degree spread there on either side of that front. Uh, the front basically right on top of Birmingham. Back in the colder air, Haleyville has dropped to 39. But on the other side of that front, it's 69 at Alexander City. Now let me tell you what, anytime you got a front like that coming through here in, in early December, we are thankful we don't have any severe weather to deal with. Very thankful. Uh, but the cold air slowly wins the battle, but needless to say, temperatures will be all over the board today. Uh, places like Lafayette and Roanoke, they could see a high in the uh, low 70s, while uh, places like Hamilton and Russellville, they struggle to reach the mid-40s today. But again, everybody gets in the cold air tomorrow, and back in the really cold air, it's pretty tough. Readings are in the single digits out there in the snow-covered regions in Colorado, Nebraska, Wyoming, and South Dakota. There's a watch warning map this morning, a, a dense fog advisory to the east, and uh, still some winter weather, uh, winter weather issues to the west, but overall uh, things have calmed down a bit around the nation in terms of really the, the wild weather, and there's the rain for the next five days. And the heavier rains based on this would be over northeast Alabama and points north and east. And a lot of that's going to fall in the form of snow up across the mountains up there. This will be a good snow for the uh, Great Smokies. Uh, but around here, we're talking rainfall amounts, one half, three quarters of an inch, something like that. And speaking of snow, this is the probability of more than one inch of snow. And the period here, it's 6 a.m. tomorrow morning through 6 a.m. Thursday. And uh, note that there is some chance over northeast Alabama that there could be an inch of snow, just a small chance. And, of course, the big numbers come up there across the mountains, especially up into uh, Virginia and West Virginia. All right, let's look at modeling. This is the 060 GFS at noon today. Trough hanging back. Down below that, surface boundary kind of sticks around with periods of light rain today and really cold behind that front. I mean, it's cold over much of the central states there. Boy, look at this thing tomorrow. Oh, boy, goodness. Uh, that thing is digging uh, across Alabama in the Mid-South. And uh, down below that, thickness values plunge. Snow fans get so excited when they see those blue dashed thickness lines. Uh, let's dig a little. Now, this is noon tomorrow. Uh, the surface low beginning to form to the east. And let's take a look at some of the critical thickness values. This is at 6 p.m. tomorrow. Um and uh, the low-level thickness, that uh, 1,300 line, and again, that's between 1,000 and 850 millibars. The, those lines are where it could be cold enough for snowflakes. That low-level thickness does drop pretty far south of here. And I think you have to mention at least the chance of a few snow flurries on the backside of this departing storm or snow showers tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. Don't think we'll have any accumulation if it happens. We'll check the RPM. Uh, this is valid at noon tomorrow. And uh, the rain is off to the east. And look at those snowflakes almost down to Jackson, Mississippi, the, the blue there. Uh, and, of course, this is light stuff. I mean, you know, flurries, maybe a snow shower. And that's the thing. If there's a convective snow shower, that might make the grass white somewhere. But even where that happens, the roads are just going to be wet, so no issue. We should be above freezing easily. Um, we'll go to 6 p.m. tomorrow evening. Still a chance of snow showers or flurries from uh, Birmingham north and east. So uh, tomorrow we'll maybe start the day with light rain and drizzle and then uh, maybe a chance of uh, snow flurries. 
or a snow shower tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, and it's going to be a cold and raw day. And there's midnight tomorrow night. The whole thing's over with. And this is the snow accumulation projection with the RPM. And it is pretty smart. It knows it's, you know, nothing's going to happen here. If you want to see some snow on the ground, head for the Great Smokies up on the Tennessee-North Carolina border. That's where it's happening up there in the high elevation. All right, Thursday, <laughs> everything's on by. <clears throat> it should be a uh, brighter day. The sky should be sunny. Uh, high is up in the uh, low and mid-50s Friday. Looks good. And, and a secondary front in dry fashion is going to come in here Friday evening, and that should uh, just provide a reinforcing shot of that cool, dry air for the weekend. There's Saturday. Thickness values come down a bit. It's going to be a cool day. The high only about 52. And Sunday, sunny with uh, low to mid-50s. Mornings will be cold. We'll be at or below freezing every morning. Thursday morning, Friday, Saturday, Sunday morning. Cold. Here's Monday of next week. We stay dry. And a week from today, Tuesday, same deal, dry with uh, cool temperatures. Go out there six more days, December 19th. There's a nice little trough passing through here, and if that's right, that would bring a pretty good chance of rain. And look at the snow potential up north for places like Indianapolis and Chicago. And then the end of the forecast uh, on the 21st of December. Ooh, look at that. A, a pretty good surface low near Memphis. That would be a big snowstorm if this is right for Tulsa and Springfield and Fort Smith and Fayetteville with uh, maybe some thunderstorms here. We'll see. It's always an interesting time of the year. And that's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you live around here, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.